finding out that you're pregnant and that there really is a tiny baby growing inside you is exciting and exhilarating. Maybe daunting too. What kind of mother will you be? How will the baby affect you and your life? For most women, the experience is overwhelmingly positive. They're setting out on a new experience that they know will change their lives. Understandably, all parents give much thought to whether or not the baby will be healthy. This collection looks at what happens to women, and some men, whose feelings of happiness about the pregnancy were suddenly overturned. They go for a scan, expecting to be reassured that their baby's healthy, and then they catch sight of concern on the sonographer's face, or sense a change in atmosphere. When they heard the phrase, your baby might have a problem, many women said time stood still. Finding out about the baby's abnormality, it could be spina bifida, cystic fibrosis, Downs, Edwards or Patau's syndrome, it could be a heart or brain malformation, could be limb deficiencies, will be deeply upsetting. Deciding to end the pregnancy made some of those we interviewed question their deepest beliefs and their humanity. Some parents explained the termination had ended the baby's suffering and pain. They wanted their baby to have a good quality of life. Many talked about the long-term demands a baby's disability would have on them and on their other children. Some knew they wouldn't have coped. Most people took part in this project because they wanted to end the taboo of termination. They wanted to talk freely about the experience and the baby they lost. And they want others to know what having a termination for fetal abnormality was really like. They want to stop other people judging them for what was a painful and intensely difficult decision. See how parents describe, in some cases quite graphically, what the termination really involved and how they were cared for by many different health professionals. They talk about saying goodbye to the baby, about choosing special poems and songs to commemorate the baby's short life. They talk about how they coped after the termination and how for many of them the best therapy is not to forget the baby and move on, but to recognise that the baby existed and that he or she will always be part of them and their families.